Clear, Regina, Sailing Family and friends and all others who want to learn about celestial navigation. In this chapter we will dig into a new thing. Other celestial bodies, not just the Sun, planets, stars, moon, it's fantastic. And you will see that many of them, except for the moon, that's a bit complicated, but the others are either similar or even easier to use. And you can get the fix directly because you have several celestial bodies in the sky. There's only one drawback and that is that you can't see the stars all day long and you can't see the horizon during night. So you can only shoot the stars, the planets and maybe the moon when you can see the bodies and the horizon at the same time and that's in the morning and in the evening. So let's now first look at how can we determine morning and evening, the so-called twilight. Um, why is the sun so practical? Well, the sun is really, really good for navigation because you can measure the angle between the celestial object and the horizon with no other problem than if the horizon is not visible or the sun is not visible. In other words, if it's hazy to not to see the um, uh, distinct horizon or if it's cloudy and then you don't see the sun. But with planets and stars and polaris, it's, it's another issue as well, because you still have to see the celestial object and the uh, horizon. So the thing is, it needs to be dark enough to see the bodies, uh, the stars and planets. Uh, the moon you can actually see on, at daytime, and that makes the moon very practical. And that's the only good reason with the moon. We'll come back to the moon because it has a lot of other problems. Uh, but So it needs to be dark enough to see the bodies, but light enough to see the horizon. Uh, the time span isn't very big when you can see both at the same time, and that's called twilight. So uh, the whole thing about uh, navigating with stars is that you don't have much time. In the tropics it goes very quickly when the sun rises or sun sets. So it's maybe 20 minutes, 15-20 minutes you have in the tropics. Uh, and if you are in the higher latitudes, you have longer time because it takes longer time until the sun uh, sets. If you wish to draw planets, sun, and moon, for instance on a star finder, you might be interested to uh, get back to this slide to use the corresponding uh, symbols for uh, the planets and the earth and the sun for that sake. Planet is Greek and means wanderer and while all the other stars, they are uh, having the same position in relationship to each other, but the planets, which look like stars sometimes, move from one constellation to the other, and they are all in a straight line, the sun and uh, the other planets and the moon, and they all go through the zodiac constellations. Uh, so the zodiac constellations are a couple of constellations which I have put together here, the Aries, the Taurus, the Gemini, the Cancer, and so on. So these constellations are all in one line, and that's where the our planets are walking along, one can say. So I have a uh, picture here, taken on the 9th of October 2015, 90 minutes before sunrise. And looking uh, towards the east, you can see the Leo constellation, and then also Venus, Mars and Jupiter in one nice line. And if you prolong it, you can then extrapolate the line and imagine where the sun to the left bottom corner will rise in due course. Now to find out when the twilight is, I have made a template. And that's the planning for using the celestial bodies, uh, which you can only see at twilight. So if you take my template and look at the top left corner, and then we go through the whole template, uh, what I mean by that, and hopefully it will help you to plan uh, which planets and which stars uh, to pick in order to get a uh, very quick, effective shot in the morning or in the evening. So what you do in the left top corner is um, you write down your approximate position by dead reckoning where you think you will be in the morning in blue, latitude and longitude, and where you plan to be in the evening, in red, latitude and longitude. Thereafter, you take the nautical almanac and look 
when will it be nautical twilight, civil twilight, and sunrise in the morning at the meridian, that's at Greenwich. And also, you prepare by looking at the times when will the sun set, when will it become civil twilight, and when will it become nautical twilight in UTC at the meridian. So what's the difference between nautical uh, twilight and civil twilight? Well, the nautical twilight is very dark. It's actually so dark so you don't see the horizon anymore. The civil twilight is, so to speak, perfect. So that's in the middle. So you can the sun hasn't risen yet or hasn't set yet, and you still can see the horizon. And at the time of sunrise, it's uh, far too bright. And at the sunset, that's when you start beginning to see the first maybe planets, the brightest stars, and then at civil twilight in red in the evening you should see most of the stars and in nautical twilight um, the horizon disappears again. So what you do is these times are quite critical so you take and plan for what the twilight will be at the meridian then you take the time to arc tables which we used when we determined when it is noon at our longitude. Now we want to know when it is twilight and sunrise and sunset at our longitude. And in the bottom line, you write down the times of nautical, civil, twilight, sunrise and sunset at our position. And these are the important things. So these are the times in UTC when we can plan to shoot the planets and stars. So the civil twilight is in big blue and uh, red box, because these are the most important times. And uh, a rule of thumb, one can say that it's a good time to shoot the planets and stars in the morning, sometime in the middle between nautical twilight and civil twilight, that's a good start. And then in between civil twilight and sunrise, then when that's approximately when you can't shoot any longer. The same in the evening, at Sometime between sunset and civil twilight, take your time in the middle, for instance. That's when you can start shoot, shoot the uh, planets and uh, stars. And then you cannot shoot them anymore at the time between civil twilight and nautical twilight. So let's go and do some exercises on these. And I'll uh, help you to do that. So see you in the exercises.